नमस्ते मैं डॉक्टर सोमनाथ सीनियर कंसलटेंट इंटरनल मेडिसीन टीएक्स हास्पिटल यह चाल जनरल अं काम टापिक एजिंग एजिंग मे बी टू टाइप कामनली इट इज़ नाट सैंटिफिकली टू टाइप एजिंग हेल्दी एजिंग अनहेल्दी एजिंग ना वट इज डिफरस बिटवी हेल्दी एजिंग अं अनहेल्दी एजिंग हेल्दी एजिंग इंटर्ली योर रेस्पिटी अनहेल्दी एजिंग आलो योर रेस्पिटी टाइम पास एज इनक्रीजेज दे आर डिफरेंट चेंजेस इन द बॉडी दिस इज वेरी कॉमन बेबी बॉर्नस इट इनक्रीजेज द एज दे आर डिफरेंट चेंजेस इन द बॉडी देन बिकम्स एडल्ट एडोलीस देन एडल्ट देन मिड एडल्ट देन ओल्ड एज now as the medical science increased as the people awareness increased now life expect expectancy increased earlier when india became independent life expectancy was 55 now general life expectancy life expectancy means average age a person can live in india is around 75 years that is because of awareness to the people and advances in the medical science so that we can practice preventive medicine healthy aging and preventive medicine is correlated what happen what is preventive medicine preventive medicine is either you diagnose the disease early or you prevent or delayed the disease coming to the person this is the preventive medicine different types different times earlier 20 years back what you used to tell for preventive medicine after 50 years you need to go for your health checkup but now because of many environmental factors there are adulteration in the food factors now what do you tell after 40 years you have to go for your full body checkup full so that you can know what are the system is working fine in your body and what are the system is not working up to the mark in your body that is the preventive now if you do the preventive checkups you know your body's function then you can progress to the healthy aging accordingly you can act that is the healthy aging now healthy aging contributing factors basic is basic things that everything exercise healthy food free from stress and social interactions while healthy aging is important we always forget social interactions lone person has unhealthy aging if you compare to the person who is very socially active but we have to be check here socially active we have to prevent yourself from the bad foods unhealthy foods you need not to skip exercise these are the things you have to avoid while socially interacting for healthy aging four things exercise healthy food stress free and social interactions if you follow these four things you can progress to the healthy aging certain disease has to come in the body you cannot avoid like cataract as the age increases cataract has to develop this you cannot stop what you can do you can prevent or delay the coming of the cataract second prostate problem we called it bph benign prostatic hypertrophy it comes with age you have to accept that package of bph with your age you cannot avoid that but you can prevent that by knowing your preventive health checkups okay my prostate level is this my prostate gland is at this level so that you can do some preventive things you can discuss your concern doctors like bone age bone becomes weak this definitely will come with your age your bone become soft you may fall and fracture as the age increases but 
healthy aging you have to see what are the preventive things you can do for the healthy people what are the preventive things you can do for the to avoid fracture like you can make your bathroom so that old age people should not sleep there should be handle bar in the bathroom there are the preventive things you can apply so that you can avoid the catastrophe like fracture of the hip fracture of your other bones so that these are the healthy aging techniques third things three things it has to come now four things certain disease comes as the age increases like certain types of cancers comes in old age like prostate cancer bladder cancer it comes as the age increases gastric cancers as the age increases there are chances of coming for these you have to go for the preventive checkups preventive checkup means not only blood test you have to go for all your imaging like ultrasound chest x ray ct scan colonoscopy to see is there any changes in your body or not if you feel there is unexpected changes in your body like sudden onset of giddiness sudden onset of agitation then definitely you consult your doctor and he will go for the health checks preventive health checks or curative health checks these things he will plan for you in india still in our society family doctor system is not common in india in abroad us or uk there is a family doctor kit that is family medicine in india it is still not common why because here availability of doctor is very common easily you can access the specialist easily you can approach to the super specialist easily you can approach the sub specialist as the specialist and sub specialist increases vision becomes narrow for the doctors so for healthy aging for old age always better to consult the family doctor or internal medicine specialist so that he can see your all the parts all the organs of the body from head to toe you need not to go for the cardiologist directly because you will focus only on cardiac problem if there is no cardiac problem until from my side nothing is there so you must go for the internal medicine specialist initially if he recommends okay i suspect these things then you go for the sub specialist like cardiologist gastroenterologist or a neurologist but first you get yourself assessed now in hyderabad tx hospital multiple branches are there in hyderabad you can access there are very senior doctors here in tx hospital internal medicine specialists they are well experienced in treating the old age people whatever the disease there that you can approach them thank you